Hey everyone, I'm Kamari, and welcome back to The Tavern. Today we've got some news via Game Informer about what games we can expect to see new footage of and get new details about at the Gamescom opening ceremony. Those games include Hogwarts Legacy, The Callisto Protocol, Sonic Frontiers, Return to Monkey Island, and The Dying Light DLC. Before we do get started, I do want to apologize that it's been a few weeks since I uploaded a video. I've been in school myself, I've had microphone issues that I was able to get resolved, I've been enrolling my kids in school and getting them started with the new school year and working, so it's just been kind of difficult to upload on a normal basis, but I do promise I will try to be more consistent coming up. So without further ado, let's get into the news today. The first and arguably most hyped game we know that we'll be getting new details about is Hogwarts Legacy. If you don't know what Hogwarts Legacy is, then I would suggest you watch some of the other videos on my channel. But seriously, Hogwarts Legacy is a third-person action-adventure role-playing game coming from Warner Brothers Studios, Avalanche, and Portkey Games. The game so far looks fantastic, and I can't wait to hear more about it. Now, honestly, I think we'll be hearing quite a bit at Gamescom about this game. I think a big reason it's been so quiet lately is that they weren't for sure on the release date. But now we have a confirmed February 2023 release date, I think we'll start getting a lot more information about things we can expect to see once we get our hands on the game. I'm personally hoping to learn more about broomstick flying, mounts, and other side adventures. I would rather not hear much more about the story as developers these days tend to give too much information in my opinion. I do hope we get a little more about the world though, like the places we can go and how big the world will really be. Honestly, I'm just really excited to hear more about this game. Moving on, we have the Callisto Protocol, and I pray that I'm pronouncing that right. The Callisto Protocol is an upcoming survival horror game developed by Striking Distance Studios and published by Krafton. It's currently slated for a December 2nd release date, and let me just say that this game looks fantastic. It's directed by one of the co-creators of Dead Space. And let me tell you, I am a big fan of Dead Space, so I am really hyped for this game. Some of the things I'm hoping to hear about this game is that first silly, it's not being delayed. I'd also love to know a bit more about the lore of what's going on in the outside world beyond just the character we'll be playing. Other than that, I wouldn't mind learning about more weapons or gadgets within the game. But again, not too much about the story. Please let us experience this game without feeling like we know what's going to happen before we ever even touch it. Moving on, we have Sonic Frontiers and... Oh boy. So this game is a third person open world RPG set in the Sonic universe. Sounds like it could be great, right? Well, from what we've seen, not really. I'm hoping that the devs can show us something to knock our socks off and come out of it thinking we were dead wrong, but they're really going to have to show us something truly amazing for that to happen. Now don't get me wrong, I and I know many other people really really want this to be a good game. This concept in the hands of the right developers could be fantastic, but unfortunately, the reality of the situation is what they've shown us so far just isn't good. There are a few YouTube spotlights out on the game now if you want to see what I'm talking about. Next up, we have kind of a strange run. This one is Return to Monkey Island. This is an artistic point-and-click story-based puzzle game. It's actually the third in the series, however, there hasn't been a direct title since 1991. Honestly, I'm not very familiar with this franchise, but I am interested in it and would love to learn more about it at Gamescom. It seems to have some really interesting characters and seems like it could be a fun game. Based on what we've seen, we don't know too much about how the gameplay will actually work, so I hope we learn more about that at the show. Lastly on the list, we have the Dying Light 2 DLC. This one isn't too crazy or anything, it seems like it's just a story-based DLC for Dying Light 2. There is a teaser trailer out now if that's something you're interested in watching. It looks like it'll bring a new faction to the game, no word yet on if this will be a freed or paid DLC, but this company did release a lot of free DLC for Dying Light 1, so we will see if that comes to pass. I'd be interested in seeing if this brings any new weapons or mechanics outside of the new faction into the game. So those are a few of the things that we can look forward to on opening night of the Gamescom ceremony. I am interested to hear what you're most excited about, and I do want to thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in this kind of content, maybe subscribe, check out some of the other videos on the channel. Until next time, that's going to do it for me at the Tavern. I'm Kamari, and as always, have a great week.